Hey Bar Chicas, we're starting a new vlog today. How is everybody doing? Are you thoroughly enjoying your spooky season? So, um, <laughs> I'm actually in my car at the vet because poor Bailey has been sick and I just feel so bad. She just looks like she feels terrible. And at first I wasn't sure that anything was wrong with her, but after like, I wanna say like two days after she got home from being spayed, she just started sneezing like a, a bajillion times a day. And I was like, why is she sneezing so much? That's kind of weird. And I feel like I heard it, but didn't really like, it didn't like click with me until my husband was like, how come Bailey's sneezing so much? And I was like, you're right, she has been sneezing, huh? I was like, I don't know, what's up with that? <clears throat> He's like, I don't know. And then we didn't think much of it. And then the next day she was sneezing and sneezing and sneezing. And then she sneezed on me and like got all wet stuff on me. And I was like, oh, what the? And then my husband was like, I feel like you should call a vet. Cause that's not normal in cats, I feel like. And I was like, oh, okay. Cause this is like my first time ever having an animal that I like take to the vet and like got fixed and all this stuff. Like it's my first time experiencing all this. So I don't. I didn't know that cats could get sick like that. So I called the office, like the place that she got spayed at, and I kind of like asked them some questions, told her about, uh, told them about her behavior and all that. And they were like, yeah, you should definitely go to a full service vet because she might have an upper respiratory infection. And so I went on Google and I looked up, I said, why is my cat sneezing so much all of a sudden? And bam upper respiratory infections that's what everything said so of course i called the vet right after that made an appointment they were like yeah we can get you in like next week and then i told them the symptoms and they were like no 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 you need to come tomorrow because it could be an infection and i was like oh snap okay so i don't want this to go too much longer because obviously it's not like little little but it's also a little more serious but not super serious i don't know you know it's like urgent because it's an infection and she has to probably have antibiotics so here we are it is wednesday october 21st and um i just gave them all the information everything that i've noticed about her in the past couple days that i've seen her looking sick and everything like that they took all the information down and then they took Bailey in. So it's like a curbside deal because um, of everything going on. This place is like a curbside deal. So the place that I took her to get spayed was not. You were like all up in there and it was like dirty in there, you guys. I just feel like I wish I did my research better um, when it comes to like the place that I got her fixed because it was like all dirty and gross in there and it just reeked of like dirty animal space. Do you know what I'm saying? Like like a house with a bunch of cats and dogs, but nobody cleaned in that house. You know that smell? That's what it smelled like in there and it felt gross. So I just know that she got sick from that place because I had never heard Bailey sneeze until like a, two days after she got spayed. So obviously she got sick there. And then I was talking to my sister and she had just, she's recently just adopted a cat. And she said that um, they were saying that some of the cats are separated because they have the re uh, upper respiratory infection. And once one cat gets it, they all get it if they're like in the same area. So they have to keep them separate until they're all better. So I was like, okay, that makes lots of sense because she was in a place with a bunch of cats. Is this blurry, guys? Let me try to fix this for you. Okay, I think that's a little bit better, but it's kind of overcast today so that's why it looks a little gray and stuff but yeah so that's what i'm doing right now it's like one so uh it should be about a half an hour so i'm just like chilling in my car because it's like the curbside deal and it doesn't make sense to go home for a half an hour <clears throat> but what's funny is i used to work at the starbucks that's right over there so i never noticed I never noticed this place that this was a vet. They have a really good rating. They have a 4.5 star rating at this vet. And I feel like they were super nice. So I feel like she's gonna be well taken care of because the place that I got her spayed, I just felt like the lady that was handling me had an attitude and I just, I was like. <laughs> okay, so the vet just called me the one, the doctor. I don't know what you call him, the vet. 
just called and uh, updated me on what he thinks about what Bailey's going through. And um, he says he thinks it's a, something viral that she caught from when she was in the place with all the other animals that she got spayed at. So he's like, I think it's just something viral she picked up. It hasn't, it doesn't seem to have turned into anything bacterial. I think it's just gonna phase its way out in another week or so. So there is tests that we could run, but they're, you know, they cost like hundreds of dollars. So I personally don't feel like you need to do that unless a week from now, um, <clears throat> it still hasn't gotten better or if it's worsened, then maybe we go that route. But he's gonna give me a couple of little like things I can do for her, like just a couple of little medications to just help her drink more. Cause she has not been drinking enough. Like she, I feel like I haven't filled her water bowl in two days and that's like not good. Like I'll see her go over there and like eat a tiny bit and maybe just like have like a couple licks of water. But I'm serious, like she has not drank enough. Um, speaking of water, I'm thirsty. <laughs> I got my trusty coldest water bottle, my favorite thing. I bring it everywhere with me. But yeah, so he's gonna get everything together and then call me back and we'll, um, we'll be able to go home. So that was quicker than I thought because I've only been sitting here, here for like, I don't know, 10 minutes. So not too bad. Um, yeah, I guess it's just gonna have to run its course and all we can do is kind of like help her. Oh, he's gonna give me some cans of wet food too. Cause he said that since she's got some sinusy stuff going on, she probably can't smell her dry food. So it's not appetizing. So she's not eating. Also, if she eats wet food, there's like obviously like moisture in there. So she can be a little bit more hydrated too. So he's gonna give me some of that. And we're just gonna try those things over the next few, uh, next week. And hopefully she feels better. My poor sicky poo. She's been sleeping like all day long. She just wants to be on my lap all day long and sleep with me. But I, ugh. okay, I know I'm like talking about my cat a lot, a lot, a lot. But anyways, on to other news. What is going on with my skin, you guys? This is like, I think it's maskne. I think it's just mask stuff because it's literally only here. As you can see, I have no other pimples up there, but this one is not going away. It hurts so bad. I got this one, this one, this one, and then these, and this one, and then this one. Like, what? What is happening? I had such clear skin, and now this mask, mask knee is really getting to me. And I wash my masks, and I use different ones, so... That's really frustrating. All the effort I do to wash my masks and I'm still getting mask me. <sighs> also, I've been wearing this shirt like nonstop because um, I'm just trying to get all the wears out of it because it's spooky season. I know you guys have probably seen this shirt way too much. By the way, I got it from Walmart, if you're wondering, in the men's section, which very soon I wanna do like a little basics clothing haul from Walmart even though I really don't need more clothes but a lot of you have been like asking me to do a Walmart haul and <laughs> I just have so many clothes you guys but I did um ew like that sounded really ugly I'm not trying to brag but you guys know that like if you know me you know that but I was like pause that sounded ugly I'm not trying to be all like yeah so many clothes I'm very grateful I'm very grateful for the clothes that I have but I do not really feel like shopping for clothes because I've gotten so many over the past few months um so what I did was I went through my clothes yesterday again and got rid of another like stack like this which I'm actually gonna send to my mom so she said she would be glad to take them off my hands and I think they'll fit her so but yeah I was thinking about just getting I really want like the from the guy section the sweatpants joggers with the pockets you know the plain ones that they have for like eight dollars they have them every year it's like in the construction worker section kind of but they have like black and gray and navy blue and dark gray and stuff where they have like the crew neck hoodie wait the crew neck sweatshirt and the sweatpants like a warm-up set kind of thing I kind of want to get black ones because I just love jogger sweatpants I wear them all the time and the other day we went to Walmart and my husband got some 
and he was like I don't know if I'm gonna like the way these fit though because what if they're baggy and I was like if you don't wear them I'll wear them I want them I want some right now but I don't guys I literally just realized that there is still eyelash glue on my eyelashes <sighs> so we have Bailey in the car now um, I have her like medicines or supplements, I guess it's really more like a supplement and I am very happy. I have to say I'm very happy with the service that I just received and it is called Firehouse, it is called Firehouse Animal Hospital and I am so happy about the service that I just received there. They are so nice, you guys. I just feel like she was super well taken care of and they're really being like clean about everything and like sanitary and with the curbside and all that. Also, they were like, is this, and we noticed that this was your first time here with us at Firehouse. So we made her a little tag with her name and your phone number and so that way she's firehouse official isn't that so cute i'll have to show you guys when we get home but it's like a little thing to go on her collar and they gave us a bottle of wine a complimentary bottle of wine because it was our first time going there and that we tried them like <laughs> that is so cool um i'm all about that so thank you so much for that <laughs> so highly recommend firehouse animal hospital if you are I don't know if they're like nationwide or whatnot, but either way, in Leander, Texas, they have one. So just in case you guys are in the area, I highly recommend them. So it did get a little bit more expensive because I had to get her supplements and stuff. So it's like, I, I swear when I go to the vet, I just never know what I'm going to pay. <laughs> I just never know what it's going to be. It's just, it's a big responsibility. So it is Thursday and I am running errands with Austin right now. Um, obviously Mila is in school and <clears throat> hubby is at work. It's about noon and we already went to Home Depot because I needed to get black light bulbs. So the other day I like lit everything up in my little haunted house area and <laughs> my outside and all that stuff. I lit all of the Halloween stuff up just to kind of see how it was looking to see if I was missing anything. And I'm really glad I did that. I always like to do test runs and I'm glad I did it because I realized that it wasn't bright enough in my garage where like the little mini haunted house-ish thing. I don't even think I can truly call it a haunted house because you're not like walking through it, you know? You're just like something spooky. Anywho's, um, it was definitely not bright enough and I needed more black lights and more spider webs. So I went to Home Depot, I got four black light bulbs because I have four different areas I wanna put them in and I really hope that they're brighter than the ones that I have. I think they will be because I saw really good reviews. Um, I spent way too much there. I spent $120 at Home Depot. Like, I've never done that in my entire life. Like, I felt so funny just being in there, like, shopping at the Home Depot because, like, that's my husband's favorite store. And I was just up in there, like, I'm going to figure this out. I will do a little haul with you guys so I don't explain everything right now. But I'll show you guys in this vlog. I'm not going to do a separate haul because I feel like probably people are some people are probably over halloween hauls but of course i will include it in this vlog and i'll title it you know ha very halloweeny vlog so that you guys know and i decided to treat myself because i was already in the area and i got a kung fu tea this is my favorite they changed their cups and i don't really like them but whatever so i got a taro milk tea with 30% uh, sugar, less ice, and the bubbles. It's my favorite. And now, I'm gonna go into Sally's and get my hair dye. All right, y'all, we're finally back home. It's 1.30, so I gotta pick up Mila from school in an hour. I literally get a new pimple every time I wear my mask, I swear. And it's clean, like I'm wearing a new one. I just, 
I don't understand why my acne is going so crazy, but I'm gonna get back on the different gel. If you guys are new subscribers, I used to use this combo and it really helped my acne because it was super bad before. <laughs> And I would use different gel, which is an adapalene gel you can buy over the counter at like Walmart or wherever your grocery store is. And I also use the L'Oreal Stubborn Acne Face Wash with 10% benzoyl peroxide. And when I use those together, it works so well for my acne. I still use the face wash all the time. I will not stop using it just because I don't want it to come back. But when it gets really bad like this, I put the Adapalene as like a spot treatment and it helps. So I'm gonna have to start that again because girl, what? I had such good skin not too long ago. I don't know what's going on. So I kind of want to do a haul with you guys. I spent a lot of money today. <laughs> slightly having buyer's remorse but then i'm like yolo um i earned this money and i want to have a really good halloween and i want the kids to enjoy their halloween and the neighborhood kids to enjoy my decorations and all of my hard work and you know what i deserve this whatever also i got makeup from ulta and i also got some more hair dye stuff from sally's so let me get started also they're doing the jackhammer out there and it's loud i'm really sorry you guys i hope it's not too much of a bother all right first i'm just gonna show you my ulta mini haul because it's the smallest bag so i got my favorite foundation ever which is the makeup revolution london conceal and define full coverage foundation and I got my winter shade which is F7 and I've been out of this for a long time and um, I do have some F12 which is my really really dark tan shade so I like to just get F7 which is my fair shade because if I'm in between I can just mix them together so I got this one some people don't like this but this is literally my favorite foundation I also got my favorite mascara, which I'm completely out of as well. It's the Voluminous Lash Paradise Waterproof Mascara in the Blackest Black shade. The Blackest Black and Waterproof. It's gotta be waterproof for me. So this is my favorite and I definitely needed that. I really only got things I needed. I, I really don't buy makeup anymore for just like fun. Like I don't buy new makeup just to try it cause I'm like, I know what I like, whatever. And my other staple uh, is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This is my most favorite concealer. I've tried other ones. I've tried the dupes by like e.l.f., the camo concealer, and that one, get, uh, it dries way too fast, so I don't really like it. Plus, I can't find my right shade in it. And I always get 22N Light Neutral from the Tarte Shape Tape. So I needed another one because I'm basically empty but i will say for i think this costs like what 25 bucks it lasts a really long time like i haven't bought it in at at least a year maybe more than a year so this lasts a really long time and that's why to me it's worth it because when i buy the other like smaller ones like i like the maybelline fit me concealer but it's not as full coverage but i i run out of it like very soon i think i bought it two months ago and i'm already like out of it so that's why I love the Tarte Shape Tape because it lasts so long. And I also just picked up an e.l.f. Expert Liquid Eyeliner in Jet Black because I don't have a black eyeliner right now. I have brown and I also need it for my Halloween costume. That is all I got from Ulta. So I went to Marshall's because it was next to Ulta and I was trying to find a comforter for hubby and I because I really want to get a new comforter. Ours is like five or six years old, I want to say. So we got really good use out of it, but now it's kind of like falling apart and it's like really thin. It's just wearing away. So I need a new one, but I want to get a king size, even though we have a queen size bed because we both hog the blanket. So didn't find anything I liked in Marshall's. So I just decided to look around. And of course I came upon Halloween decorations because who would I be if I didn't, you know? So I found this cute black cat and she has a witch hat on and i love her i just the moment i saw her i was like i need it you're so cute you know i love witches there's a little cauldron next to her and these bubbles this 
cauldron lights up. Like how cute. And I know that my daughter's gonna love it, which made me just, you know, confirm that even more that I wanted to buy it. And this was only $14.99. I feel like that's really not bad. It's like, I don't know what material this is. I don't know if it's ceramic or resin. I'm really not sure, but it's like a very durable material. Like this is gonna last me so many years to come for Halloween. So had to pick that up. Just gonna put her here for a second. Oh, they're so loud over there. So I also went to Sally's. Now apparently, here's some info for y'all if you go to Sally's a lot. Apparently they charge you 15 cents for a bag now, which doesn't make any sense. Um, I, I don't get it. So I was like, I'll just hold it in my hands. So I just got this big tub of bleach because I keep buying the little packets and it's honestly a waste of money. You get way more bang for your buck with these. I just normally don't have enough money to spend. Now that I had some spending money, I was like, let's just do it. I will be thankful in the end. So I also got a big 30 volume developer and I got the Ion Sensitive Scalp. I should have been doing this from the get go because my scalp is so sensitive and I'll like be really itchy and peely after I bleach it. So I'm glad I found this one. This was only $5.99 for 32 fluid ounces. So that was really good. This one was $19 and this is by Clairol. And then of course I just got another bottle of my Arctic Fox. Purple Rain because I just used the rest of my Purple Rain today. And here's the rest of the Marshalls haul. Uh, so I got my daughter some pajamas cause she really likes to sleep in gowns as do I, they're just more comfortable. And hers are way too small for her. So she's turning eight in November, but she is in between a six and a seven, but I went ahead and got her an eight in the gown since it's pajamas. That way it can last for a little while. It's like super long and obviously it's frozen. And it's funny cause the other gowns that she has are frozen. And so I was like, oh, how perfect. I'll just replace it with a bigger size. And this is like exactly what she loves to sleep in. Like her old ones look very similar to this but more of an aqua blue. And this was 10 dollars So, I mean, a little bit pricey kind of, but like in a perfect world, I'd love to pay seven or eight for this, but whatever. It was 11 bucks and she needed the pajamas. And while I was over there in the little girl section, I saw these and I just figured I would get them for her because why not? They were on clearance and these are little like sports bras, uh, Calvin Klein sports bras, size 6, 6X. Yeah, seamless bras with removable pads and they were 450 for the two pack. And so this is her size, so I just got it. My husband's gonna be like, no. Um, but she does have two little sports bras I got her. It's not like she has anything going on, but I remember being a young girl and my dad, my single dad raising us and like not realizing that we needed these things. And that this is a story time, sorry. It's about to be a mini story time. There was this time where I went to a family function and I was wearing a white tank top and it was see-through and I didn't realize it until way later in the day after seeing everybody that you could completely see my nipples through it. I was horrified because I was a young girl. I was like, what, nine or 10? I was horrified, okay? And I, it's just, I never want my daughter to feel embarrassed like that. I never want you know what I'm saying? I don't know. Like, I know it seems a little early for like an eight year old to have something like this, but it's really not because it's not if they have anything, it's for any shirts that might be see-through. You don't want that to be showing. So that's how I think of it. So I just went ahead and got them because I thought that was a really good deal. Like Calvin Klein, what in the world? $4.50. For two of these and i would definitely take the pads out because i don't want it to look like she's you know so i'm gonna just take the pads out that was a long explanation but you know i'm just trying to do right by my daughter because i'll never forget that how humiliated i was Whew. on to the home depot haul how easy it is to spend money 
So I needed lighting and fixtures, right? So I got four of these LED black light bulbs. I got four of them. They were $9 a piece. I'm not gonna take them all out because I'm running out of room here. Um, so yeah, I got four of those for two of the bulbs in my garage and the two bulbs outside of my house. So it can really look like it's purple up in here, you know? And then I was watching a lot of vlogs of people who do uh, haunted houses like every single year, like it's their thing, they call them haunters, people who love to make these things. And I was looking for ideas on lighting and I watched somebody and I, oh, I can't remember his name. I can't remember his name, but he was like, I got some colored floodlights and I pointed it towards the objects, the decorations that I really wanted to stand out. And I was like, oh my God, ping, that's a great idea. So I went and I found a red floodlight. And the reason why you want a floodlight instead of like a regular just red light like that is because that is only like seven watts. And this one is 13.5 watts. So it really, it's like way brighter. It's gonna really show up red from far away. And it's gonna go further out. It's gonna expand the throw of it. So. Yeah, I got a red floodlight because I thought it would be a nice contrast with the purple because he was also saying like, you want to do like opposite colors because it's pleasing to the eye and it's attractive. And if you just do all the same colors, nothing would pop. So I figured red would be super cool in my little cemetery graveyard area. And then I just needed something for it to plug into and stick in the ground. So I got this and I thought it was gonna be super expensive, you guys, but this was like less than $10 or $10 and this was $5. So it's really not that expensive if you wanna go all out for Halloween. It's not too shabby. Like I think next year I'll definitely get some more of these, but yeah, this is just a landscape lamp holder and it's literally a place to just screw the bulb in, stick it in the ground and it's got a plug on it. Now, obviously that plug's not gonna work for me because that's a little plug, so I knew I needed an extension cord. We just bought an extension cord, but it's for the black lights in the garage and it only has one plug in it. So I had to get another one because it's gonna go in the opposite direction. So this is a 50 foot outdoor, indoor outdoor extension cord. As you can see, it's only got the one, which is no good. So I went ahead and bought this by rigid it's the brand rigid and it's you plug this into that one and then you have three and they have all little caps like this just in case you're keeping it outside it can be sealed and basically weatherproof which is really cool so yeah i just thought uh that was a good idea that way i have three different plugs i really want to get a fog machine but we'll have to see because I've spent a lot of money, girl. But I would love to get a fog machine. I feel like they're only like 30 bucks and then you gotta buy the fog. So maybe like a $40 thing. And if I got the fog machine, that would be good because I could plug that into here. But yeah, that's my thoughts. That's And then I should end there and I really should just stop because I'm crazy about Halloween. But the good thing about it, and this is why I was trying to not feel bad about how much I'm spending is first of all I got the things that I've just been needing and it's just something that I use all the time um and also you only have to buy certain decorations one time and then you just have them forever so like something like this that's gonna last me for like so long like forever like I don't have to like rebuy that I don't have to like rebuy this or rebuy um the flood lamp thing for at least a very long time. And the last thing I got from Home Depot is this guy right here. And he was 24 bucks. I feel like a little pricey, but I mean, I guess he's pretty big and he's an animatronic. So let me do the... I 
don't think he has different phrases though. It's only one phrase. So yeah, he's four feet. Indoor use only. The mouth moves, sound activated. Illuminated eyes, spooky sound effects. It's LED, Grim Reaper. So um, I'm not sure where I'm gonna put him yet. I was actually kind of thinking of putting him like sitting down like this on the floor underneath the table in my garage. So like the kids won't really notice it at first, but then they'll walk by and it'll say something and they'll be like, ah, you know? And that is everything I bought today. So <laughs> gotta go get Mila in like 30 minutes. And then um, when we get her we need to go get the grocery order because it's grocery day grocery day can't speak grocery day and then after we get the groceries we gotta come home put all that away and start making dinner and put all the stuff out so that's the thing is like i need hubby to do the light bulbs because i need help with that but i think i'm gonna try to accomplish this by myself right now um because I'd like to get everything done by tonight so I can take my little video tonight of what the house looks like, so. Guys, I completely forgot a Home Depot bag was over there by my front door. I think there's just two things in here, but I got this piece, <laughs> this four piece doll heads thing. They're like creepy doll heads <laughs> and um, their eyes are like open and stuff there. So I was thinking about putting them on some, um, I don't know, it's like some like a light or something. I don't know what I'm doing them, but they're creepy. So maybe put like a tea light in there and put it somewhere. But it was like five bucks for the four pack. And then I also got a two pack of these little black rats, which I'm gonna put like on the table and underneath the table. And those are, that was like five bucks for the pack. So, forgot about those. I'm trying to set up the floodlight. The floodlight works. Um, you can't really see it because it's daytime. But I can't get the extension cord in my outdoor socket. And I called Home Depot for, for some like troubleshooting. And he was like, it's just the outdoor ones have the safety on it. So you really have to force it in there. And I'm like, oh, okay. I've tried a lot. I cannot get it in there. Um, I tested it out in the ones in my garage and it does work. Like the plug goes in easily, but the outdoor plug, I just cannot get the three prong in there. Good morning. It is Friday. And um, it's actually 8.16 in the morning. <laughs> um, I just dropped Mila off at school. And then uh, from there directly, I went to my grocery store because yesterday in our pickup order, um, I ordered a Dapoline gel, which is like the different gel, like I was telling y'all for my acne. And they substituted it and I was like, okay, well, what did you substitute it for before I like accept it? I didn't see it, but she just told me verbally, it looks like they just substituted it for a smaller size. And I was like, oh, no big deal. As long as it's the same thing, that's all I care about because I just need benzoyl peroxide. I mean, no, not benzoyl, adapalene. So as long as it's adapalene, that's all I care about. And I was putting away the groceries yesterday and I realized it was not adapalene at all. It was the brand different still, but it wasn't like an oil absorbing uh, face wash or whatever. And I was like, that's not at all what I need because I need a Dapoline, like I said. And so I was like frustrated and I was like, all right, you know what I'm gonna do since Austin's already packed up in the car when I bring Mila to school, I'm just gonna go straight there. Oh wait, shoot, the post office is packed. Oh no, I need to go this way, son of a gun. That's what I get for talking. So I wanted to show y'all once we park, I have to go to the po uh, post office to mail two different packages now um, i'll show you guys what i got i just got three products i was only going to get two but they had an um they had a coupon for wet and wild products and it was buy two 
get a dollar off. So I just got two of the cheaper things. Um, so update on my spooky house decorations. I submitted my photos <laughs> for the little haunt your lawn contest that my neighborhood is having. And I didn't take any pictures of in the garage because my in the garage part is not like done yet. And also we have the golf cart in there. Did I mention that? Oh, I haven't spoke to you guys about this yet, have I? I don't know, but we got a golf cart, so we have a golf cart now. Um, we got it for a really, really good price because they can be really pricey. So please don't go and think that I'm like bougie and I paid thousands and thousands of dollars for it because I really didn't. It was a hand-me-down, hand-me-down, and we got it for a very, very budget price. And that's why we did it so we actually spray painted the roof of it already because it was like a beige so we spray painted it matte black which made it look a little bit nicer it's rough around the edges for sure it was used at a ranch so you know it's rough around the edges but we're fixing it up anywho's <laughs> the golf cart is in the garage now and that's where it has to be stored so my stuff is kind of like all over the place when it comes to like the Halloween decorations in there and since it was a haunt your lawn contest I wasn't sure if it was important for me to show inside the garage so I just didn't like whatever um but let me show you real quick before I go into the post office so it's called a ready in case a dappling gel so that's what I got and it says compared to the active ingredient in different gel and I looked at the back and all that stuff to make sure so that was my replacement and then what drew me I was walking away girl and I saw a coffin shape and you know I was like Pew! when I see a coffin shape I'm drawn to it so this was by the brand profusion profusion they usually have it like Marshalls, TJ Maxx, I feel like, Ross maybe. Um, and I was really impressed with their little Halloween collection. It was so cute. They had an eyeshadow palette that looked like the shape of a tombstone. I was like, this is adorable, but I don't need any more. I Like, Lord knows I don't need any more eyeshadows. But what drew me to this was this is a UV neon liner. And of course, I bought black lights and I've got black lights all around in the garage and in my uh outdoor decor so i got the shade silver they had a gold and they had like a purple i think uh they didn't have a black maybe black wouldn't even show up so i got a silver because how cool would that be if i you know put it into my makeup like very creepy and you wouldn't be able to tell that it was glowing until i got in the garage and i turned around and then it's like you know like how cool would that be uh, so this is gonna be for my Halloween costume and I freaking love this box. I'm gonna save this box Even though it's cardboard. Um, I love a coffin shape. That's so cute Then I saw the fantasy makers little section, which is wet and wild Halloween makeup collection if you're um, unaware and This is the fantasy makers paint pot by wet and wild and I got the shade black and I don't have any of this like paint stuff, like paint pot for Halloween makeup. And I always like use a bunch of like eyeliners, but it really is like wasteful of the eyeliners. And this just covers a bigger area. So I got this because I just feel like I've always needed it and I've never had it. Um, so it just covers a bigger surface area when you're trying to do like black stuff for your Halloween costume. And then I also got the Wet n Wild makeup sponge that I've been wanting to try forever because I didn't know what else I wanted but you know it would if i do the dollar off it makes this a dollar so i was like i'm just gonna do it so i actually haven't been using my makeup sponges because i don't like the texture of the new um what is it called the new real technique ones that i got it was like too hard for some reason i don't know if they changed their formula so hopefully this one works i think i asked you guys a while back and you guys said it was pretty good so I'm gonna give that one a try. And then I also got a monster um, for later today because I do have work and I've just been so tired lately. Just so have to show y'all how adorable this little baby is. Look at this little baby. She's just sitting in my lap, so cute. And this little baby, you're so cute too. <coughs> my babies. Since I'm outside, I'm going to show you guys what I decided to do with these little um, doll heads is the tea lights. 
the LED tea lights from Dollar Tree fit perfectly in the bottom, but don't push too hard because you don't want it to go all the way in there. And then you won't be able to click the button on and off. So I put like a string around it, around the top inside there, just in case that were to happen, I could like pull it out. But I think I should be fine. And when you light it up in the dark, it looks really cool because it's like a flickering light. So I don't think you guys will be, you're not able to see it. It's too light. Hold on, hold on. It looks cool, right? So I'm gonna go to Dollar Tree this weekend, probably do a big haul after this vlog. And I'm definitely gonna pick up a few packs of those LED tea lights and what is on me? Oh, I got spider web on me. We're about to have a cold front this week. So it's raining and super windy. And so I took this guy out and put him inside because that was the most unstable one that I feel like is gonna blow away. But the rest of them look pretty good right now. And then I was gonna show you guys the golf cart. So here she is, she's green. The top was the same color as the seats and we painted it black. I really like the way it looks. What I love about this is it has this rack up here to carry some stuff. It has headlights. It even has a, so it's got regular headlights and then this LED bar right here, which is super bright, like high beams basically. And it's charging right now. It's electric. And yeah, there's four seats. Stop it. Thank you. I'm sorry. Yes, please. Lots of crazy this texas weather is literally crazy because it was humid and hot this morning like i mean not hot hot but because of the humidity it felt hot so it was like 75 and humid and yucky and muggy right now it's literally 62 degrees blowing crazy wind and um yeah i'm freezing like literally freezing so but the good news is i get to wear my new shein no shein no yoins <laughs> um i get to wear my new yoins black coat so that's the good news is i actually have a coat and i usually never do so that's very good cheers I'm so tired. I was laying on the couch till like the last minute. Like I only have 13 minutes to get to work and I'm usually earlier than that, but I was so tired. Uh, we went out to lunch at First Watch and y'all, I showed y'all our foods. Oh my goodness, that was my first time eating at First Watch. I know I'm probably late on that, but it was so delicious. And I would definitely be going there again. Uh, the customer service was like meh, but it was delicious. Got the elevated egg sandwich and it was like oh, so good. And the potatoes that comes with it is actually so good because I'm very picky about my home fries. I don't want to be picky, but I am because home fries can just be so boring and just, you know, like blah they don't really interest me but these ones tasted really good they were seasoned really well my thing is i don't like anything bland i don't like anything bland i need my ish seasoned season that ish up put some spice on it put salt the biggest thing is like if there's not salt i'm like what the heck and I don't like too salty, but you know, it's gotta have the salt. 
and I'll go places that like or I've been places that have potatoes like home fries and they just come out like no salt and I'm like what the anywho's we're gonna have this cold front for like I think the whole weekend so I'm super excited about that because I want to wear all my cold weather stuff so I'm totally down and I feel very happy because normally the cold fronts happen like when I have to go to work and like right now I have to go to work but I mean like it's gonna be cold tomorrow too so I actually have the day off and I'm gonna get to go out and be in the cold I just love being out in the cold I feel like I haven't drank enough water today anyways y'all I think I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog it's super long and I know y'all are enjoying the long vlog so thank you again for watching this video don't worry I will be starting another vlog I guess I'm just in vlogging moods I go up and down with my vlogging moods but I'm in the mood so yeah I'm only ending this because it has way too much footage so I will see you guys in the next video don't forget to give this thumbs up if you enjoy my vlogs subscribe so you won't miss any and I'll see you next time